Good, beautiful morning, family, and welcome to Kingdom Moments. Today's focus is we shall live wise. But Daniel said, please test your servants for 10 days. Daniel chapter 1, verse 10. Something lacking can always leave a vacuum for something to fill it. In our souls, when we have been hurt in the past, and there is a place that is sore, tender, and guarded by us, God comes to fill those holes and to make them as if they never existed. But a worldly-minded believer will not seek wisdom in the deeper things of the Lord if they are, number one, comfortable, number two, positionally popular in society, maybe even in their own eyes, number three, rich, or number four, concerned with how others see them instead of our God. Now, note in our passage, there are many involved in this gathering of wise people in the realm of the Babylonians, but wisdom of the world pales in comparison to the wisdom of God. We are not called to live in and with the wisdom of this world. Of course, it's easier said than done. But why is that? Why do we instinctively want to move toward the wisdom of the world to fulfill our needs? It connects to your understanding of your identity as a believer in Christ. You see, each and every day, as we live in this exile, we are faced with decisions that the world wants to impose on us, much like what was happening to Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. If Daniel would have responded with earthly wisdom, chances are he and his friends would all be dead men. But he did not. In the middle of the chaos, an uprooted home, and the exile of an entire nation when the voices in his head were surely screaming for him. Catch this now, to just play along. Don't cause waves. Just fit in. Daniel's thoughts, instead of going there, turned to God. One thing to notice in Daniel's choice is to put him in the proper light. Do not think, as I used to when I read this passage a long time ago, that Daniel had no resistance, because faith is intensified with resistance. When resistance comes and we bow to worldly ways, our faith becomes diluted. To be wise is to know that I cannot have all the answers. To be wise is to know that I do not know and cannot know anything apart from what the Lord God reveals to me. We must be resolved to not seek man's wisdom, although it is tempting to do so. To be wise is to not have the most things going right for you. To be wise is to cast off anything the world offers and seek the Lord. Loyal, faithful, resolved, wise. These are the godly characteristics of each and every one of us if we will believe. God bless you guys today. I love you so much. Take care.